always wanted art to have something to do, something to do with the world, but I don't know if it really can. I think you have to be doing stuff that deals with things of the world. I did what I thought was art, starting from around 1969. By the 80s, I was kind of convinced that the stuff has to change and the stuff had to be architecture because I wanted stuff to be part of the world. Everybody's always in the middle of architecture. There isn't any place you can be where you aren't in the middle of architecture. I don't want places I make to stay the same. I would love places I do to keep changing so that people would possibly never recognize them. I'd like to be surprised when I go out on the street because if you live in a world that's constantly changing, you would probably have to have to adapt to the world. So what we've done in Indianapolis is set up a system where as you walk through the tunnel, you're activating sensors. They turn on these lights around you. If another person is walking toward you, that person is also activating sensors. These lights start to mingle for a while until the persons go past each other. So it's probably the, the first thing we've done where persons are making something happen. Some projects that we've really liked never got built. I don't even know if I can say that our goal is to have built projects. If that was our goal, then we, then we failed. But I think what unbuildable stuff leads to is maybe a possible re-examination, not so much of the past, but of what's, of what's to come.